Peel back the layers to discover all sorts of new possibilities. Part of that maker look is combining materials in layers and layers until you get the finished look that you want. Hi, I'm your host, Julie Faithan Balzer. Now we're gonna begin today with artist Roxanne Koble as she adds a mixed media twist to snail mail and these postcards that you brought are stunning. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I would so love to get any of these in the mail, by the way, if you thought about sending me one. Okay. But they're completely fabulous. And what you've done is you've taken these gorgeous mini collages, right? Yeah, so basically it's kind of a little twist on snail mail. It's just something fun that you could like send to your art homie or make it home and then kind of repurpose. Or even if you did send it to someone, they could then cut it out and put it into another mixed media project. Uh, it's also a great way to just use up leftover supplies. Awesome, so how do we get started? Yeah, so to start off, we want to use uh, just a blank blank postcard and I flipped it over because we're basically going to be tackling that message area space. So just coming in with some gel medium, just kind of layer a little base coat down. And I'm usually not thinking a whole lot about my ephemera on this. I think the key is just to get it in there, get it covered. And I also noticed that you're using just a regular paintbrush. I know some people are very particular about which brushes they use with gel medium. I don't know if you Tops. have any sort of rules about that. Well, I do have a pretty haggard brush that I save just for my gel medium. So that's why it's looking uh, pretty rough it's there. It's looking used, like it's had a good life. It's looking loved. There Very you loved. Go. There you yes. Go. So I usually put a little bit of gel medium on top too, just to kind of make really it stick. And are you really not thinking about colors of any kind at all? Is it just completely random or are you sort of vaguely matching things? Right now it's just getting it, the space covered. I'll think about color a little bit later on when I go to add in paint or oil pastel. So right now it's just get it covered, get it on there. And if you have little pieces too, you can just kind of tear it up if you want, just to fill up gaps. Like I just had this little spot here. And you're just adding something pretty and decorative, and I notice you don't go off the edges at all. Yeah, well, I mean, you can if you want to. I mean, then you're going to be trimming it off because you don't want some, like, ephemera hanging off mm -hmm. if you're mailing it out or anything like that. Uh, the main thing that I do want to say, too, is that once you have it covered, it might warp a little bit on you. Just sandwich it between some wax paper and shove it under a heavy book, and that will be good to go. Once it's dry, then we can move on to kind of adding some fun paint details. Now the key with this is to really just not be thinking about it a whole lot. But I might be thinking about color here. And sometimes it's hard to decide, hmm, where do I start? Especially if it's kind of got like an abstract vibe to it. So I might start with this pink color just because I already have some pinks happening. So I can just do some simple little blobby blobs. So it's interesting, you're actually painting a line kind of, but you're doing it in a series of blobs that are more vertical. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not really thinking a whole lot about it. I mean, I could even just do like some little scribbly scribbles. And I'm also not going over overboard because I know that I have two other steps to come here with more media, so I really don't want to go crazy. So is your goal ma mostly to sort of blend or bring the pieces of collage together? Exactly, and you can see that I'm tackling right in on these edges where the ephemera meets together. So it's a good way to kind of create that uniformity. It looks like kind of one finished piece. Uh, you can also come, and come in and do some little patterns if you want. I love doing these little simple stitches. And just to Me afford too. That's the dash line thing is I one know. of my faves. Girl, it's easy, quick, <laughs> and it's cute, totally. Yes. So I can get, you know, as many paint details as I want, simple lines, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so for this next step, and you can see I already have my little paint details in here. I had a little paint explosion happening. It actually looks like palm trees to me. It does, especially from this angle. Yeah. Sorry, very palmy. Uh, but now I'm gonna come in with some oil pastel, which I love, and it's me too. so fun to use. And I think a lot of people get intimidated by it, and it's like, no, embrace it, love it, it's creamy, it's awesome. So what I love to do is I'll just do really simple little scribbles. I can also box out my area of where my address is gonna go if I'm gonna send this to one of my homies, whatever. Something else I might wanna do is do like a block of the pastel, just a nice big chunk. And then coming in with a old card and creating some texture there. And you can see where if you press hard enough, like if you had a bright color underneath mm -hmm. or whatever is happening underneath, it's gonna peek through a little bit. Right, this is like a version of Scraffito, which is a traditional oil painting technique. Exactly, exactly. Black is also really great to do, again, patterns, simple little dashed lines, but already it's like elevating it up to the next level. It's just getting more and more interesting. That's the thing about layers. You're just exactly. making it more and more interesting. And you can't be intimidated by the layers. Just look at it as simple steps, one step at a time. It's like, okay, now I'm gonna work on my old pastel. And 
just keep going until you like it. Exactly. So I might do a little bit around a uh, picture here, you know, any kind of little area of interest you might have, you can highlight it by circling it. So This is actually a great idea to do it. Sometimes I have leftover prints that I haven't used of pictures. You yep. can put somebody's picture on it and then send it to them in a fun kind of art collage. Totally. And again, they might receive this and then chop it up and use it for something else. So what I'm doing here now, because I have the oil pastel on there, as we know, oil pastel can get a little bit greasy, uh, can crumb a little bit sometimes. So we want to seal it with just a liquid matte varnish. So all I'm doing is using a paintbrush. Oh, and I've smeared a little too much there. Now, can you write on top of a varnish? And I was getting to that. So the varnish, you can absolutely write on top of. You're not going to be able to really write on top of the oil pastel, though. So slow your roll. Don't go, <laughs> don't go crazy town with the oil pastel. You can see that I've just used it in kind of smaller, fun sort of little but areas. But not in the message area. Exactly, exactly. So you can see here where I get down to where I have my oil pastel in. These have been varnished, so they're ready to go for the fun and final step of doodling. So I totes have OCD. I'm an obsessive compulsive doodler, like hardcore. Uh, just give me a pen and I'm in my happy place. So I might come in here and this is already nice and dry. You want to let that varnish get really nice and dry so your pens mm -hmm. can be nice and creamy on top of it. Um, and I can just do some really simple doodling. So with a black pen, maybe I will just come in and outline all these tiny little patterns I did with paint. Maybe I'll reinforce some of these little black lines here, but with a finer line. Add little hashes, stitches. Anything that really personalizes it and makes it your own. And these are, of course, are all techniques, these layering techniques I see in your beautiful art journal yes. that you brought, that you can use the same ideas. You could even take the postcard once you got it and put it straight into your journal. Exactly. Thank you, Roxanne. This was fantastic sure. and inspiring. I love working in layers.